Welcome back to VaderVision. Jumping right into a garden update. Just checking in on the Death Star. We're going to start over here in one of the breeding chambers. Here we are going to shove in the Vader OG female so we can get a Vader OG seed round going in. Get a nice healthy one so this will be all Vader OG. Everything's looking good. It's dressed up just right. We're going to weave them down into the trellis just a little bit. But overall, temperature's looking good. Nice and cool for winter time. So that's been nice. No need to worry about heat issues. Also, checking in over here, doing a little flip-flopping with some of the strains. All these big ones, these Jedi and a few of these Witches Brew, they're going to go on to another facility as well. We'll have a little bit of free space in the flower room. Now, we're going to jump right on into another chamber. Over here, I need to make some room because we are going to put in the Pacific Light Concepts lights. So I got a few more lights from Green Jeans, and I want to get them up as high as possible. So I'm just going to remove this lamp and system so that way I can run the ducting all by itself and get the LEDs up as high as possible. Once I got the hood removed and clear, I'm going to go ahead and connect the ducting on up, make a couple of measurements, and we're going to zip tie it up to the ceiling as close as possible. And I'm going to get some more hooks so I can hang all of the lights. We're going to put them on a little bit of a bracket system, so I need to get these even in certain sections and work my way around the ducting and the fans that are already there. So I had to measure this out just right so we can get everything to hang evenly. Once we're set with that, go ahead and pull the lights on out, get them unboxed. Now, the spectrum for these particular bars are a little bit warmer. Should give them an extra kick for flowering. Regardless, these are made with cobs, so these are not single dio bulbs. They're a collection of little miniature bulbs all in one cob. You can look up all the details or check out Green Jeans or Growmass channels for plenty of information on LEDs and the systems and how they work. I'll leave a link in the description for both channels. Now here I'm just fitting a bracket bar in. A recommendation from Green Jeans, just to pick up a storage rack bar. Works perfectly. So. Grab two of those, they fit right in the room. Also, Green Jeans included a couple of ratchets for each light. Not sure if all lights come with these ratchets, but it was convenient, so thank you for including those. Got it all hooked up and set, and just evenly, we're both going to slowly raise this up, one side at a time. Get these all the way up since we've vegged up our plants just enough. Should be no reason to lower the lights. Just going to make sure that everything is level. Go ahead and give it one last little adjustment here and there. And then we should be good. Nice and set. We'll get everything plugged in. Get the power all ready. And we'll fire them on. Plenty of light. So go ahead and I'll dim the camera settings, but each individual bar has a dimmer as well. So that's really nice. Plus, one extra thing to mention, you can plug these straight into anything from 100 to 300 volts, I'm pretty sure Green Jean said. So that was extremely convenient. Just switch out the plug and you're good to go. You don't have to mess with any switches. Automatically recognizes the voltage. We're going to give them a quick test. It's really cold, but yeah, the room just alone at full blast, 80 degrees. So runs a little bit warmer than with a hood that we're air cooling in the ballast outside. But for everything in the unit, actually it's running very cool. So we'll be totally fine in this room. Next, we need to move over the Malibu right here. We've been vegging them under some other Pacific Light Concept bars, the cooler spectrum. Gotten a nice veg from them, a couple of tops, and they're ready to go. Also, Bubble, or AKA Bubble Fett on Instagram. You don't see him on social media much, but you will see him here on the show from time to time when he's able to make it on up. Plus, we try and bring him out to the events as much as possible if he's got the free time. But I did see a few questions about whose hands those were, so we thought we'd jump in and let you know, give you a little introduction if you were unfamiliar with Bubble. Okay, well, everything is placed on in here, looking nice and healthy, ready to be dropped right into flowering. So this room is ready to rock and roll. Jumping on over to the Death Star flowering chamber where we do all of our testing. We're running everything at 750 watts right now for the first couple weeks of flower just to call the males on out. Everything's ready to be pulled on out. Everything is sexed. We got a male right here already starting to flop over. So we're gonna pull them out, spread out these ninja fruit, 
And as just a reminder, we did take cuttings from the larger ones in veg, so we did save a fair amount of them just in cuttings, so that way if we have something particularly special, hopefully we've already got a cut of it. If not, we find a female that is really nice, then we'll just have to re-veg it if it wasn't big enough to take clones earlier. Now, pulled out all the males from the Vader, looking good. Only had a few of them actually, so mostly females. Jedi was about half and half. We had one extra female compared to males. And then jumping over to the Malibu, randomly enough, we had almost all males. We only had four females. So most of these turned out to be male, which happens in strains. I mean, we popped a very low amount of seeds. So it does happen. Yeah, 12 males and four females. So females look incredible, nice, big, and bushy, no problems. But we do have a lot of extra males in the Malibu, just from this small selection. I did find one male, though, that was super stoked about. Already frosty, stacking extremely well, very healthy. And we do have a cut of him over in the room. But with that, I'm just gonna drop him right into the Malibu breeding chamber with the other females, and we're gonna run this LED breeding room because the lights are performing so well that I have full confidence in them. Everything looks great. So we'll just run this round out as a seed round. You get a nice Malibu full back cross going, which I'm really stoked about. So happy with this setup. We'll go ahead and run those out. Checking in on the other side for the Vader, Got our Vader male in here now. Got the females all cruising right along. I tied them down, as you can see, kind of in the middle. And some of these ones on the outside I just left up a little bit. So hopefully these will finish out just right. So Vader chamber in, and we got a Malibu chamber in. This is the Obi-Wan chamber with the big Obi-Wan male. He's dead. I went ahead and raised him up so he's dried out. But all the females, they're getting close to finishing harvest, and for OGs and the ghosts, they look incredible. I'm really stoked with this room. Everything turned out super healthy, so we'll have a really, really nice round of Obi-Wan seeds, and there's the cookies in there for some dark plasma. We got the Jawa room over here, which we're running all key lime pie and the Jawa male over here for some more Jawa pie seeds. Overall, I've been very happy with this key lime pie backcross series. We've continued kicking out getting seeds out of some of the tester flowers. So I have some new mixes coming, but they've been a little bit back in the pipeline. So for alphas, at the beginning of the year, keep an eye out. We will be running some new testers for alphas and handing those out on some new cross strains. So I just want to let you guys know we're still kicking away with that. That'll be coming at the beginning of this year. Cruising back into the testing chamber, the Death Star flowering chamber, that is. Taking a look, it's been a few days since we pulled all the males. I also threw a trellis over here on top of the females for the Jedi, Vader, and the Malibu. They're all looking wonderful, stretching up. Eventually, I'll probably have to tie down possibly a couple of the taller ones. We'll see where they finish out. But it looks like everything is going to grow right up into the trellis nicely. Just here to give them a little bit of support. That's really what we use the trellis for. Same with the ninja fruit. Eventually, we'll get a trellis on top of these as well but we can see they've already stretched up a lot and almost everything immediately has purple showing out their brand new flower buds jumping over to the vegetative room i'm resetting all of the mothers so we took a few clones of all of those just to reset them we got some alien rift going so we can reset another breed room make sure that we stay up with all of the alien rift now jumping over to our seedlings for all the males we went ahead and pulled those for the cuttings. So we don't need all these extra males. So I pulled them over to this left side right here. Just gonna let them drink up the last of their water and die off in their cocoa. And all of these females are the ones that we did keep and take cuttings from. So hopefully the best of the best will have been saved. And I did save the Malibu male that we did throw in that room. So we will have a cutting of him as well for future reference if he turns out to be a Pretty spectacular mail, as I'm hoping. All right, well, that's it for this little catch-up update, and we will continue more updates here in the future. We have a little bit of a holiday week, but I do have some rating and tasting with me and Ninja for the first set of Dark Plasma Gauntlet coming up. Should be next. So that'll be fun as well. I want to thank everybody for supporting Vader Vision. Remember, liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends goes a long way to helping the channel grow. I'll be back soon enough, but until next time, I'm Vader. And I'll see you later.